Hi, boys and girls, guys and dolls. I'm here with minimum makeup on today. Why? Because I just wanted to go out with <clears throat> eyeliner and some mascara. I put a tiny bit of uh, color on my cheeks and a foundation uh, on the base of my skin before I put that uh, powder uh, blush on. Anyway, today we are going to do something very different. We're going to do a Christmas eye on this side. We're going to do a New Year's eye on the other side. So today, the colors for the New Year's side was kind of easy to pick because I have this beautiful gold uh, glitter that I got from MAC. <clears throat> and for Christmas, we're going to try and stay with the basic Christmas colors, which are the burgundies and the reds. I don't have like a high red color, but I do have some burgundy shimmers that we can uh, blend together. So we'll have like more of a burgundyish color going on over here. And we'll have a goldish uh, eye on this side. Okay, guys? So you already know what to do from the beginning. And that is put some primer or foundation on your lid along with some powder. So let's go. My light is no good. Hold on. Oh, I need to see what I'm doing. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna put some foundation there. Uh-huh. It looks like a bit much, but we're gonna use it on the whole lid. <clears throat> and I never use this blending brush, I mean this blending sponge, but I'm gonna use it now. I don't know, I just always thought that this sucks up your product, and I don't like to waste product. But um, I guess if you're doing it with your fingers, it's just the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just covering this eye so that we'll have a base for the foundation. I'm sorry, for the shadow to lay on. Okay. I should have took it up a little bit. So that, uh, yeah, just in case my shadow goes way up there because sometimes it does <laughs> put a little bit more right there and blend it in we want everything to be a smooth application so sometimes i do go way up here with my shadows so i want to make it comfortable for everyone and lay a blanket up here Okay, make sure I get it in those corners. All right, <clears throat> and then I did learn to put the pressed powder as well. So we're gonna use this HD pressed powder, and I'm so sorry, this is the concealer that I used. This is the powder that I'm using. They're from the same store. The Absolute, I would called it a flagship store. It's on 34th Street. I don't want to put too much powder, so let's just put it, dab it on, click, click, click. Down through the chimney, like old Saint Nick. Mm -hmm. All right, powder that baby up. Mm-hmm. That looks powdery. And then we're going to do a transition color because that's what we always do. And my transition color is usually saddle, I think. I don't know if that was saddle or was this paint pod saddle. I don't know, there's a little paint pod I had here. But I'm not using that today. I'm going to go in with uh, my Anastasia palette and use Dawn 
right here. See? It's a little shade darker than my color. And I'm gonna mix it with this one. All right, just a little Roxy. And tap it up, of course. And I'm going to just put it right here as a transition color. A little bit of Dawn, a little bit of Roxy, quick. You know already I told you about this Anastasia palette. You better dip it and you better click it. Because if not, it's going to be a bad makeup day for you. Take a little bit more of Roxy. Click, click, click. Alrighty then, <clears throat> then we're going to go into the crease with this blending brush here. That's not the one I just used now, is it? You know what? I'm going to use a denser one, this one, to apply in the crease. We're going to go in with All Star. You see All Star here? Tap, tap on both sides, click, click, and just, I'm going to tap it in here. And then I'm going to bring it to an angle. You guys could see good, I hope. Okay, you see that? And always keep that transition close by in case she tries to fade away. Ooh, click, click. What the world? You better clickety click. I'm gonna keep it soft up there. And then, that's that for that. We'll go in with our Never Failing ColourPop. And the same, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to go into this cranberry right here. You know what? Let's see what Violet Boss has here. Let's see what Ride or Die got going on. Ooh, she got a lot of burgundies in there. Wow, should we chalk this up a bit? You mash it up? Yes. We are going to add, we're going to be a little daring. We're going to go with Amy. Look at Amy right there. I'm going to dab the back of this onto Amy and a little onto Sarah. Click, click. We're going to go right over here. Just a little bit more. We are definitely experimenting over here today. Mm, we really deepened that up. Look what we did. Uh -huh. mm, blend that in to the middle a tiny bit. And now, 
put this on the side for one second. Did I tell you the colors? That Was I rude? That was Amy and Sarah. We went into Amy and Sarah on the Violet Voss Pro palette. Now we go in with, what is her name? You know what? I don't have a choice. I'm putting this on because I need to really tell you guys these colors. We're going in with this beautiful burgundy shimmer and her name is Mind Tricks. <laughs> She's playing tricks <laughs> on oh, you, mommy. So I'm gonna go in with my finger. So I'll be able to put it right where I want it. Which is right here. And move it around just a little. To color that light spot. And again, because we want to be able to see that baby. Oh, I'm seeing her now. You see her? She's showing up at the party. Yep, that little burgundy. So let me see if I tap a little on this brush here. A little bit. I'm going to go in with this beautiful sparkly brush. And see if I can get just a little bit more on there. Sorry about the faces that I'm making. Hmm, hmm. She's shimmering. she don't disappear later on today okay that's gonna be a cute Christmas eye I don't care what nobody say they can say whatever they want to say that's gonna be a cute Christmas eye okay especially if you have an all black dress that eye gonna pop out of nowhere tear it up by going on the bottom with this green. I don't want to set it off. <laughs> so what we're going to do is go in with the black liner. And I don't have my lashes ready, but you guys know that you better wear them lashes. This is my one and only gel retractable eye liner. I love the gel liner because it lasts longer. It looks like it shines a little more. And it looks like it seems to me like it's darker than the regular eyeliner. I love the gel. And then of course you already know I put my line here. And then if I want, oh, you know what? I did tell you that I love the smudge. I learned it from my girl yesterday. The smudge is real. Last time I... Did I do it with this last time? This is so wicked. I don't want to do it with that. I'm going to smudge it out with this... blending brush here. Just smudge it out a little. So it's not so hard. So harsh. Smudge it out. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're going to put on your eye mascara. Although I already have some on. But now that I moved the uh, eyelashes around with that blending brush, you probably got some burgundy on it. This is dried out. <laughs> There's not anything on here. All this is doing is separating the lashes from me because there's no product on it. I can feel it. It's dry. This is the MAC one that I refuse to throw in the garbage because I use the wand. 
okay and then you already know what you're gonna do with those eyebrows of yours where's that brush you're gonna go off camera and you're gonna work that eyebrow okay guys I got that eyebrow together all right and then I cleaned up the little mess that I made here but yeah this is your Christmas eye you know you got your burgundy up there and again like I said you could add a little more red in the corners if you want. You can deepen it up a little bit. Or you could, um, let's see, what other color? Because this is a Christmas eye, if you want to make it a little deeper, I'm not sure if this brown would ruin it, but let's just dip a little bit more in Sarah and then a tiny, Sarah, I'm sorry, Sarah, and a tiny bit into this, uh, chocolate here which is called Ariel no 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 Skylar a little Skylar we already know Skylar brings the drama we'll tap it off we don't want too much drama and then we could just put it right here in the corner all right you see that it's not much but it brings it a little bit more deeper a little bit more sultry I don't know if you want to bring sultry to the party. Some people don't mind. A tiny bit more, Skylar. Tap, 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 tap. Just a tiny bit more. You see that? You see how she just deepens the emotions a little more? You see? You see how she look at you sideways? Mm-hmm. That's all you got to do. And then you already know it's going to be off the chain once you add that lash, girl. You see how little uh, sexier it gets when you put the lash on? Which I'm pretending. I just laid it there. I didn't really glue it on. Because I don't want to have to take these things off again. All right? But anyway, and then you curl your lashes. These are not curled. Okay, I just laid them up here just to see how much more drama it brings. And again, like I said, I don't want to have to take the glue and take this off again. So I just laid it up there to see, you know, how it's going to look. But anyway, that would be your beautiful Christmas eye. Now, let's get to New Year's.